look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking Fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are Cup after cup, yeah, it's just the way we do it. Anything just to block out the real life, real life. Yeah, we're loving the way they think we're so messed up. up. Even if what we're doing is bad, there's so many emotions. Everybody. I'm in my kitchen yet again. <laughs> I'm always in this kitchen starting out vlogs, but good morning. It is Monday and this morning has not gone so much as planned. Um, I planned to get up early um, and start my day early. I had to run some or I need to run errands and the place that I'm going to is a couple towns. Actually, Technically, it's one town over, so it takes about 30 minutes to get there, um, but it's the place that has all the things that I need. So, um, anyways, I was going to go over there and, like, get up early and go and do all the things, but I woke up at 7, snuggled with Sophie, and read all of my pregnancy apps on my phone um, because today is week 26. We are 26 weeks pregnant, which is still so crazy to me i still can't believe that i am pregnant um but then when i look down i'm like oh yeah i am i am uh definitely pregnant so anyways uh 26 weeks today and if you've been here for a while you've probably heard me talk about when i do switch over for the weeks i am on my phone i have three pregnancy apps on my phone i go through all the things what the baby's doing how it's developing um, what's going on in my body and then I also watch channel mum m-u-m I'll link their channel down below they have a YouTube channel it's uh, a UK thing but they talk about the weeks a bunch of other moms come on and talk about their symptoms and stuff they're really good videos they actually had two videos on 26 weeks but the only thing that was different were the moms in it so I just went through um, and scrubbed through and found the different moms and what they were saying. So anyways, I did that for like 40 minutes. And then I snuggled more with Sophie and I probably didn't get out of bed till about 8. And I made coffee and did my quiet time and took a shower and got ready and here I am at 10 o'clock. <laughs> and I need to eat breakfast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some breakfast. I'm gonna go run my errands and then I will chat with you guys whenever I get back from my errands. Um, I'm thinking for breakfast this morning, I'm just gonna do waffles. I know they're not good for me, but I'm gonna do some waffles and probably half a banana and then throw the other half of the banana in a smoothie with, well, a bird just flew by really quick. <laughs> with some spinach and strawberries and take that to go and then bring a big old cup of water. Um, I'm not gonna lie, like I'm getting nervous the closer I'm getting to 28 weeks because of gestational diabetes. Like I really hope I don't have it, but I have been more thirsty 
which thirst being thirsty is like a pregnancy thing so i know that that's a thing in pregnancy and then i've also been like a lot more tired um a couple weeks ago i talked about how i was working out and feeling great da -da -da -da. and then i probably worked out for three weeks and um I got to the point where I was like, I can't work out anymore. Like I just, I hurt. Um, I can walk with Sophie, but that's it. Like I can't, I can't do anything extra. So hope I don't have gestational diabetes, but I do take that test in a couple weeks. So we'll find out then. Um, and I'm also doing, whenever I get close to the end of the second trimester, I'm gonna sit down and film a whole video dedicated on my second trimester and how I felt and my symptoms and just everything with that. So if you are interested in a video like that, subscribe because it will be coming in the next couple weeks or so. But anyways, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to eat. I would W-A-L-K -okay Sophie, but her leash broke. So that's actually one of the things I have to buy today because we have a vet appointment tomorrow and I need to have a leash to take her to the vet. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to eat. Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. So glad you're here. Don't forget to subscribe and... We'll catch up whenever I get done running all of these errands. Here is my yummy smoothie. It's just half a banana, <clears throat> four strawberries, chia seeds, half and half, and a lot of spinach. And I'll put this in my Yeti and kind of sip it on the way. I just had some waffles and the other half of the banana. So this will kind of like just give me something to sip on. It is... 10 13 and i'm trying to avoid like not going out to eat lunch because um, i'm going out wednesday for brunch so anyways i'm just trying to avoid that so i'm gonna bring this and probably sophie's all sad she knows i'm about to go um i don't know i might bring some pretzels uh, it just depends, but anyways, I'm going to head on out. I'm going to empty my Yuffie over there, empty him out, get him going while I leave. Um, give some leaving lovings to my soul because she's pitiful, pitiful. And then, um, yeah, head on out. This place is a mess. <laughs> okay, so I just got home a little bit ago. It's... 2.22, I got home around 1, and I've eaten lunch. I talked to my mom on FaceTime for a little bit during her lunch break, and took Sophie on a little walk. So now I am going to get ready for dinner, but before I get ready for dinner, I do want to share with you guys our grocery haul from this weekend. We have changed um, going to the grocery store. We go on Sundays now. So we go to church on Saturday nights and then Sunday mornings we go to the grocery store together and we just get groceries together. It works out great and we've been loving it. So anyways, I actually filmed a haul for you this week. So I'm going to put that clip right here of our groceries um, and I'll put our meal plan for this week in the description box below. So this side is Aldi. That side is Walmart, and we're just going to hop on in. Um, we got two bags of frozen broccoli, a bag of Italian salad, and spinach, an avocado. We got all the cheeses. We got feta cheese, Parmesan cheese, this snacking cheese, the habanero jack. It's really good. And then we also grabbed some Colby jack as well. Um, some granola. Gavin loves this granola. Some boom chicka pop. They don't always have this, so it was kind of a splurge, but it's really, really good. We got some of this Irish butter. Uh, last time I didn't get this one, and I really missed it. It does taste a lot better than the other one. So we got some refried beans for lunches this week. Some minced garlic, because we were running out of that. Some turkey and some chicken breasts. Some biscuits for chicken pot pie this week. Uh, breadcrumbs as well. We've never got them from Aldi, but I'm sure those will be pretty great. We got the unsalted um, sunflower kernels because the salted ones have been very salty lately for some reason. So we decided to get these this week. Some bread. This was an impulse buy. Normally, 
All this stuff is like really hit and miss, but we grabbed these chocolate chunk cookies. There's like three of them in here. They were at the cash register for like 99 cents. So we'll try it and see how it goes. I don't think I mentioned some uh, whipped topping as well and tortillas and then some gum. And that was all that we got from Aldi. And then right here is our Walmart. A lot more produce because our Aldi's produce is not that good. So we always have to get it at Walmart. So I, we grabbed a lot of yogurts for this week. Uh, the strawberry and then the strawberry and the mixed berry blend that like goes triple zero. We grabbed some frozen strawberries for smoothies, some cuties, a two pound bag of black beans for this week and next week and probably a lot more weeks later. A huge bag of carrots, a zucchini, some brown rice, uh, restaurant style salsa. This one's really, really good. It's a little bit runny, like more runny, but it's really, really good. I also grabbed some chickpeas for a recipe this week. I read online that lemon ginger tea will help with digestion and everything. So we got some of that. Um, Gavin got some Think Thin bars, and then I got some of these fruit and grain cereal bars. These are really good for like a snack or an easy breakfast on the go. We got three onions, two green bell peppers. Um, I think I already talked about the rice, but then we also have the spoon rest, which I'm kind of debating on whether I'm going to keep it or not, but I think I will. It moves around a lot, but it is a cute little hobnail design. We only have one and I kept on having to rewash it over and over again. So bought another one of those. The world's largest sweet potato. I don't even know how I'm going to cut this thing. <laughs> and then another one, three apples, some lemons, a lot of bananas. So what I'm going to do is save one bunch and let it get really, really ripe. And then we can use it and freeze them for smoothies. I think that'll be best because Normally we just use them like this for smoothie and they're, you know, they're a little bit more tangy. So I think that will be better. Gavin got some one a day vitamins. We ran out of garlic powder and they also gave us like a free little basket or bag for Easter. And so we got some Think Thins, Power Crunch, and there were a couple other things, but Gavin placed these over here because those will definitely be snacks for the week. But that was our grocery haul for the week. Now that you have seen our grocery haul for the week, I'm going to get into a recipe. Now it's Monday, which Mondays, every other Monday, we have discipleship at our church. So I do like to make dinner pretty early. So when we come back home, we can just heat it up. Or if Gavin's hungry or if I'm hungry before we go to church, then we can heat up a little bit of it and then eat it uh, later when we get back if we're still hungry. So tonight's dinner is going to be a chicken pot pie recipe and it's super simple, super easy. Um, and you can kind of edit it your own way. Um, and I'll talk you through it as I go about it. It's super simple. So what I've done since I got home as well, I threw on, um, about a one and a half chicken breast and I shredded it up. So I've got some shredded chicken over here. I have some vegetables that are left over from the last time we did chicken pot pie. Um, I just froze them. So you can actually get a can of veg all if you would like, or you could just get whatever veggies you like and throw them in there. I believe our mix is corn, peas, and green beans. Um, and it's just a random mixture of them. And then I actually make my own cream of chicken just because the regular cream of chicken it just has so much in it that you get from the store not saying i'm against it because there's probably going to be a video when i do freezer meals i'll definitely be buying um cream of chickens just because that's easier but we did we have come to find out that making our own cream of chicken definitely makes a big difference so it's super simple cream of chicken chicken veggies of whatever you like and then for the crust, we normally do croissants, but Gavin wanted to do biscuits. Um, so we are going to be putting biscuits on top and I will be serving this with either some creamy spinach or a salad. Salad might be what we do for tonight because that'll be easier. So anyways, I'll show you what I'm doing 
and talk to like do a voiceover as I do it. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. It's one of my favorite meals. Super simple, especially if you buy the cream of chicken already like in the can. It's so much easier because um, it's just already done. So it's literally cans of cream of chicken. You can get rotisserie chicken or canned chicken. I've done that. Throw that in there and then the veg all. Mix it together, put the biscuits on top, bake it until the biscuits are done. Bam, dinner. So anyways, let's get started on our dinner. Like I said earlier, you could buy cream of chicken from the can at the store and use that and it would make this recipe a million times easier. But I am going to make my own cream of chicken and to do so, all you would need is some chicken stock, milk, flour, and seasonings. So I'm starting off here with some chicken bouillon, um, better than bouillon, into some water. I'm gonna bring that up to a boil and whisk that together. And then I'm also gonna add some milk and bring that to a low boil. while the liquids are getting up to a low boil, I'm going to create the flour mixture, which is just going to be flour, garlic powder, salt, pepper. You can add whatever seasonings you would like. Parsley would be great. We didn't have any, so I didn't use it. But you're gonna mix that with some milk and create like a thicker um, mixture and then add that to your chicken stock and milk that's on the oven. The first time I made this, I actually didn't mix the flour and everything the best. So there were little clumps of flour um, whenever we were eating the pot pie. Gavin didn't notice, but I did. So I made sure this time I whisked it enough and you just wanna continue whisking that mixture until it gets to the consistency that you like. Um, I did have to add a little bit more water you could have added more chicken stock as well. If it does get too thick, right there I'm just hitting the clumps of flour to try to make sure they do get dissolved. But this batch definitely turned out a lot better than the last time I did this. Once you have cooked your flour with your chicken stock and milk, you can then add your chicken and your veggies of your choosing to your mixture. And I just let this warm up because the vegetables were still slightly frozen from the freezer. So I just let that warm up on the stove top while I was getting um, the oven ready and everything else ready. You're going to spray your casserole dish with some cooking spray and then add your mixture into the pan and just spread it out evenly and then you're going to add your biscuits on top i did put way too many biscuits on top um, i should have done six but i did do eight and that is something i learned for um, next time because we've never actually um, made it with biscuits but this turned out great and we always love this and the addition of the biscuits were a great um, addition to this recipe. While dinner is cooking I figured I would show you guys what I got on my little trip today. Um, I went to Target, TJ Maxx, 
Old Navy and Lululemon. Uh, I don't have Lululemon stuff. I'll explain in a second. But anyways, I'm going to show you what I got and talk about why I got it and everything. Sophie needed a leash. Her leash actually broke yesterday and we have a vet visit tomorrow. So that was like the main reason I went out. Um, one of the main reasons I went out today. So I grabbed this leash, Flexi, from Target. Hopefully it'll work. Uh, I just walked her. I'm trying to figure out the locking mechanism, but I'll let Gavin look at that. I'm going to keep the box just in case I need to return it. Um, I also grabbed this Clorox tub and tile scrubber because you can obviously clean your tub without having to bend down. This extends and it gets longer, so I plan on using that tomorrow to clean out our shower. Um, and I think it will really help even later on in life, um, even when I'm not pregnant. So that will be great. We went by, or I went by Old Navy and grabbed some masks. I love their mask because they have these earpieces in the back that you can adjust and so they're not as um, tight on your face and they're really large, like you can make them pretty large. So I grabbed this pack for me and then this blue pack for Gavin. He really enjoys them too, which is so funny because we only have one pack. They're normally like $12.50 and they were, yeah, and I got them for $5 each today. So that was perfect. Um, I got two Lululemon <laughs> gift cards. Um, for the girls that are throwing my baby shower here. They are not letting me help with anything. Um, so I figured, well, they like Lululemon, so I'll give them gift cards for that. Um, this will not get them a pair of pants, but it will go towards a pair of pants. So I got two gift cards from Lululemon. And then I also went to buy TJ Maxx, and I found this hamper, which I think will be so cute. Let me back up. I think it will be so cute for Amelia's nursery. We're going for like a, vo a boho chic theme. So I thought this was really, really cute. Um, it's not huge, but we don't need a huge hamper because she's a baby and her clothes aren't huge. And then I also grabbed this basket from TJ Maxx. I'm kind of up in the air on whether I'm gonna keep it or not. I get the tag on it. Um, that is for Sophie's toys. It is like a cream, but our rug, has cream colors um, and I don't think it looks bad but anyways grab that for her because this is what she used to have her toys in and it was way too high it was actually like choking her like she would lean over to get her toy and it would like the metal because this is metal it would um press on her little throat and it would choke her so I figured that is lower that would be better and it does fit all of her toys which is great um and then also at Target I grabbed some dresses. <sighs> We're having a baby shower where we live um, in a few weeks. And I don't have any dresses that I really want to wear. So I've ordered three dresses on Amazon, tried them on, they didn't work out. And I found these at Old Navy. These are just regular uh, clothes, they're not maternity. So I grabbed this one. It's kind of short, but we'll see. I'll try it on here in a second with you guys. And then I also grabbed this one right here. It's like a purple, light pink. It has like a cute little, these are kind of the same. These two right here, they have like a little, I don't know what you would call that, nylon. I don't know. Anyways, they're shorter, so I don't really know how they're gonna work. And then I also grabbed this white one, which I love, but I don't know if it's gonna look great on me. So I'm actually gonna try these on while the chicken pot pie is cooking and I'll show you what they look like even if they don't work out. <laughs> so ignore <clears throat> the black socks. <laughs> but this one's not terrible. Um, I think this is the issue I'm gonna run into with all of them. They're definitely flowy, which is good because it's hot here, um, but I just don't, I kind of feel like it looks like a bag, but there, it's definitely longer than I thought it was going to be. Um, excuse the socks. <laughs> but it's cute. I mean, it's pretty color on me. I just don't, I don't feel like attractive in it, if that makes sense. And the other one's actually an extra large. 
So I feel like it's even, it's gonna look even more like a bag, so. <sighs> this is cute though to like have in general, but I don't think I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, this one's a no too. I feel like they just look like nightgowns, like a big muumuu that you could wear as a nightgown. Um, they're not flattering at all. They're probably all gonna have to go back. <sighs> what a struggle. This one's cute, I like the colors. It's just not attractive on the body. It does not hang nice. So this is gonna be a no as well. So this one's not that bad <sighs> because it does like go in right here. But again, oh, timer. I feel like this is a nightgown. Like, this does not even look like a cute dress. So, back to the drawing board it is. I'm going to have to, Alexa, turn the timer off. It seems like I'm going to have to find something online. I just don't know what Sorry, to I'm having trouble. Please try it in a little while. Not done. Um... I just don't know what to wear. Like, I want it to be long because my spider veins are, they've gotten better with compression socks, which has been really good. But I would like a maxi dress, but I don't wanna look like a house. I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna have to order more Mm, dresses online. I'm gonna have to figure this out. I have to order from Amazon, I guess. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna get back into my clothes and I'm actually gonna like relax for a little bit. Um, I haven't done that today, so I'm gonna lay on the couch and just chill out for a little bit. And I'll actually show you my belly here in a second once I get my original clothes back on. Not a cute angle, and I have food on me. But, anyways, here is my 26 week belly. I just have on regular pants today so you can't really tell but it's there. She's there and she is hitting me constantly. She's constantly kicking and moving. My uterus is um, a lot higher so I'm actually feeling more movement in the top which is so strange. But yep, here is my belly. This is not a good outfit but this is what I wear around the house because it is comfortable. So, anyways, there's the belly. Can't believe it. Can't believe she's 26 weeks. So, I was born. Sorry about the crazy hair. Taking off those clothes. I was born at 25 weeks. So, getting past the 25 week mark was huge for me because that was like. Okay, like I was born at 25 weeks and she made it past 25. So it makes me so happy that we're here at 26 weeks, but I'm gonna straighten up real quick, put all the stuff away that I have taken out and from the stores and uh, I'm gonna sit on the couch and probably watch some YouTube for a little bit because I need to relax. <laughs> It's 4, 10. And I'm gonna end the vlog here because we're gonna leave here soon to go to church. Um, I need to eat a snack because I am getting hungry and Gavin should be home soon. So I figured I'd end the vlog here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you like day in the life videos, please give us a thumbs up. Um, I would love to hear from you in the comments. I love communicating with you guys, so please drop a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.